Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel, or if you haven't seen the series before, basically what I do is once a week go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Moon's Instagram page, and I decide if I want to add them to my wishlist or if I think they are total washout. Before we jump into this week's products, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this weekly series, and if you want to see any more videos, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. I do have an update from a previous video when I mentioned the Becca limited edition royal glow highlighter and how I was able to order it. It came in finally. Ugh, I'm wearing it today. It is beautiful. Look at, I'm trying not to blind you with the mirror but it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I've been using it like going around the little design of the crown right here just because I think it's beautiful. I've, of course, I've already dug my nail into it by accident, but I'm doing my best to kind of like preserve that part of it and just work my way around and use the edges of the highlighter. I'm really happy I was able to pick this up. It's got some gorgeous just all silver packaging. Like, look at this. This is going to go out on display somewhere. Like, so I really am loving this. Oh, I'm just I'm so happy I was able to get that with that update out of the way Let's go ahead and jump into this week's products of course being Manny's Revelation is that the right word revelation reveal reveal. Let's use reveal Manny MUA's reveal of the new lunar beauty palette You know, I have to say so it was a lot better than I was expecting I don't know if I'm going to be picking it up though. I do like that it, it seems to be like a nice all-in-one palette. You've got your neutrals, you've got some pops of color. It's really split down the middle. The only thing for me is that this is, I think it's gonna be like a $50 palette from a brand new brand. No idea what his formula is gonna be like, no idea what like, it's gonna be like a gigantic gamble to pick this up. And of course, you know, they're going to do the opening day thing where it's going to sell out in two minutes. So honestly, I don't think it's worth the trouble when the majority of us have a neutral palette, which is that half of the palette right there. And then we've got our colors on the other side. So I do think that it's a good concept for a palette. I just don't think it's going to be worth it for the majority of people to pick up due to the fact that it's a brand new brand and that it's probably going to be a pain in the butt to try and get it like on release day, especially at that price. And odds are you're also going to have to pay for shipping. So you're looking at like a $60 palette. Ooh, next a palette I really want to pick up. This is from Becca. They have these new Be A Light face palettes. I haven't tried a whole lot of Becca products other than their highlighters and I really do want to try out. I swear, today has been like the hardest day to film. I've had this guy next door mowing his lawn for two and a half hours. I have buses coming down my suburban street, like what? So I'm really excited to try out some face powders. They have, it's like a all, all over like glowy face powder. They have a bronzer, they have a contour, and then they have a blush. I really want to try out this one. I think most likely I'm going to go for the lighter palette. They have one in light and like one in medium. I'm not sure when it's going to be in stores, but I really do want to pick it up, hopefully at Sephora. Next, we saw the inside of the Dominique Cosmetics, is it the Lemonade palette, I believe? Yeah, the Lemonade palette. Honestly, this looks fairly bland. Yeah, if it were me... I mean, obviously, if it were me, I would have flipped whatever was matte and whatever was shimmer because the mattes in here are like your boring warm neutrals. And then the shimmers are the ones that I would have loved to see as mattes, like that nice mint, that nice purple, that orange, that pink. Those would have been awesome mattes. And then you could have made the traditional boring shades shimmers just to kind of like shake it up a little bit. So I would have flipped it. But the, the palette, the way that it is right now, also knowing that it's a brand I've never really used before. It's an influencer brand. I'm gonna just steer away from this one. Uh, KKW is coming out with two new highlighter palettes. Honestly, these look fairly boring. They're overpriced. And I'm highlighter paletted out. I have so many highlighters. I, I say as I just bought a highlighter. 
I have so many highlighters, I really don't need one, especially a palette. Those things are pretty bulky, like I love the ABH Glow Kits, but trying to store those in my collection is like a pain in the butt. So I really am reaching more for single highlighters than I am for any of my palettes anyway. It's gonna just be a no. Once again, super, super excited for the new Melt palette. We see the whole picture. You've got a bunch of beautiful greens. And then the other side is kind of like your meh warm neutrals. But you know what? I'm interested in at least more than half of the palette. So I am going to be picking this up. It'll be my first Melt product. Really excited to do a full video, a whole bunch of looks with it. So keep your eyes out for that. A palette I will definitely be picking up is the new Thirsty Pally from Pally. What a, a palette I will definitely be picking up is the new Thirsty palette from Jeffree Star. We got a sneak preview of like the packaging first, which was orange and like creamsicle kind of themed. And then we saw a couple of the shades from the inside. And after seeing these shades, like I know I'm picking it up. We saw like a nice dark brown, which is like, okay, whatever, meh. But then there's this very vibrant bright matte yellow and then right next to it a super super rich looks very pigmented blue matte like I, can't, I honestly can't wait to see what's in the rest of the palette I'm imagining we're also gonna get some oranges in here but not like your boring like warm neutral kind of oranges I'm really hoping for like a creamsicle orange oh I think this palette is going to be stunning. I am very happy with the last palette that I got, which was the Blood Sugar palette. I have that one on display over here on my vanity because it's just a beautiful palette and I love using it. I was very happy with the quality on that. If you missed that review, I'll go ahead and throw it up in the cards. Which way are the cards? I think it's that way. I think I would know by now, right? Another Jeffree Star product I will be picking up is the Equality Lip Bundle. This is what I've been waiting for. Finally, a bunch of minis in vibrant, bright colors. This is exactly what I wanted. I didn't want to splurge on a full-size, like, yellow lipstick if I wasn't sure I was going to like it. Like, but these are perfect. You have a pink, a red, an orange, a yellow, another green, but it's not the green that I already have from Jeffree Star. It's another green. You have the teal blue, a deep blue, and then a purple. This is a perfect release, and I love the fact that a lot of the proceeds, if not all the proceeds, are going to an LGBT center charity. I just love everything about this. I will definitely, definitely be picking it up. I'm going to do my best to get it like as soon as it comes out, because I'm sure it's going to sell out like that. And the last product that I see on here is a new face mask from Glow Recipe. It's the Watermelon Glow Jelly Face Mask. I'm not a huge fan of, like, you, you see the way that it's kind of like a, a jelly, not, of course it's a jelly mask, it's called the jelly mask. But you see the way that it sits on the skin and it, ugh, I don't like the texture of those kinds of masks. I definitely lean more towards traditional sheet masks. I actually have an entire jar filled with sheet masks. I love them to death, but not this kind of mask because I don't like the way it feels on the skin, especially like on like your eyebrows. Like the way it's sitting on her eyebrow, like it looks like I feel uncomfortable looking at that. Ugh. I'm always afraid too that's gonna like rip hair out, but I know it's not. It's just a mask. I mean, the moral of the story is that I, I really don't like the texture of this type of mask, so I definitely wouldn't be picking it up. So that's everything for this week's wish list or washout. Don't forget to let me know down below what you thought of these products. Are you going to be picking any of them up or do you think everything is a washout? Let me know down below. I would love to talk to you guys. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. And I hope I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!